Hallelujah, praise God. This is the Hot Man in a Minute. We got a word today, and I want to talk about um, ingratitude and gratefulness because a lot of people, including myself, this is what holds us back from what God wants to bring us into. You know what I mean? The fullness of the resurrection power, man. I'm going to start talking about all that because these blessings. They're easy to say and everybody knows them and that's fine. So that's why we're discussing it. But the whole point is applying the lesson. That's where the rubber hits the road. That's where very few Christians walk in the realm of applying this knowledge, okay? Everybody knows it, not too many people apply it. So I pray in Jesus name that all these teachings, you can apply them to your walk and walk in it, especially when it's difficult to do so. So we're going to start with um, Luke 17, 17. And in that passage of scripture, it should be on the screen. What does it say for 17, 17? All right. It says, so Jesus answered and said, were there not 10 cleansed, yes. but, but yeah. where are the nine? Right. So 10 lepers were cleansed. Okay. Today is 10, 10. Uh, 10 is the number spiritually of lacking nothing. Wow. So this is an important teaching. There Dang. were 10 lepers. Thank you. I just realized that right now. <laughs> there, there were 10 lepers clean, cleansed from leprosy. They all got healed. Nine of them just kept it moving, man. They didn't even, they're like, ah, whatever, thanks. They didn't even say that. But one came back and wow. fell. One came back and fell at the feet of Jesus and crying and thankfulness. Now this is the heart and the mind frame that you, yes, you read the scripture with me and you understand what I'm saying. But this teaching, I want you to take it to the next level and apply that level of gratitude. Say you got a family member who just sucks and they're tormenting you. You need to be grateful for that person even though you don't want to be. Say you have a horrible financial situation and you're really struggling with life. You need to be grateful for what God has given you. Praise the Lord. He's given you clean drinking water. Praise the Lord. Hopefully you have somewhere to lay your head at night that's warm and out of the elements. Praise the Lord for the clothes on your back. Praise the Lord for his holy word that does not return void. Praise the Lord for the blood of Jesus was shed for you. Hallelujah. To atone for your sin. It could always be worse, okay? So be thankful for what you have. All right, now on the Bible app, I want you to go to 1 Timothy 6.6. 6. Okay, can I just add something to that real quick, babe? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, and also when whenever we ask for something... And then God uh, answers our prayers. Let's make sure we go back and thank, thank him. him. Yeah, you know amen. what I'm saying? All right. Amen. All right. First Timothy 6.6. 6. So our first scripture was Oops. Luke 17.17. 17. Now we're at First Timothy 6.6. 6. All right. What do you got? Give me one second, guys. First Timothy. Chapter 6. Verse 6. 6. 6 is the number of man. All right. Here we go. Now godliness with contentment is great gain. This is where all of us are lacking, Amen. including myself. We need to be content and learn contentment in all things. It's our flesh nature to not be content, but to always want more, 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 more. That's the flesh. We need to crucify the flesh and the lust thereof. And we need to be learn how to be content in all things. Be content in your situation, no matter what that looks like. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would love to hear what you guys have to say about this teaching. Please feel free to leave feedback in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. If you have anything to add to this teaching, I would really appreciate it. We're going to start discussing the keys to be able to start to walk in that resurrection power, man. Because it's time. It's time for the church to wake up. So in Jesus' name, I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ bless you. I pray that the Lord Jesus Christ help you to be thankful in all things. That we enter his courts with thanksgiving. And uh, it, what is it? His gates with thanksgiving his courts with praise. And I just praise the Lord. And Lord, help us all walk in contentment. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Bye, guys. Bye. Let's see. Okay, here we go.